Hey, what's going on everyone? This is yours surely back with another video and today we're gonna be doing some Fade mid lane. I haven't done her in a little bit, but also there's a different kind of build slash play style I want to kind of showcase where I'm going for the max E, max Q, then max on B. Because normally whenever I do Fade mid lane, I always do like the max on B. I just play more so to push up way look to kind of gank and whatnot. But I think a better way you can play Fade that's a lot more aggressive is going for the max E and just trying to really kind of wield down your opponent mid lane so we'll be trying to see if we can do that this game uh, we get the mogus so she's gonna be very kind of um we, we have to kind of like respect her a little bit i would say she's gonna be someone that's gonna be poking us a lot very consistently i would say with the point and click on b so we need to try to make sure we can outspace her a bit and try to do our best but real quick um very the thing with fey is it feels way better if it's on a um insta cast so fey e that's a I don't know what kind of build. I think it's an alternate. No, it's a secondary build T. So, instant. Let's test this real quick. Yep, it goes out. Because trying to do like an E and confirm feels really kind of bad in my opinion. So, I like to... Um, whenever I play Faye, I like to go instant on the E just be so it it's, comes out way faster and a lot more consistently. So, it makes it easier to land is what I'm trying to say. So we're going with the E, um, probably go on B second just so we can kind of have that good wave clear or maybe Q we, because Morgan doesn't necessarily have the greatest wave clear I would say so we probably can get away without going on B just yet. She was kind of just standing there, so that's kind of like a free Q I can get off if I just land it right. I'm trying to get a deep wall right here, because usually it's a good spot um, on the two camp especially. So I missed one creep, but I got a very good spot when I, I can see the rampage coming in or not. Again, she's standing still, so we just kind of went for the E trade right there. And ideally, you want to be keep laying your E's because it does more and more damage the more you can land it consecutively. So I'm trying to land it as best I can, and that's the third part. Very good. Deck is rotating. Oh, she's doing something weird. Well, I have, probably have to be careful then. Yeah, that's just that's kind of an, that's a really annoying worm right there. And three, two people <laughs> ganking us early. Not the greatest thing, unfortunately, right there, ladies and gents. I, it's they're probably looking again. It's a thing, so I'm trying to be a little bit mindful of that. But I just can't. I can't give up this river buff. And again, Deku is looking. Wow, that is really annoying, ladies and gents. Deku just rotating a lot. And the duel lane should be punishing that 100%, but the Drongress hasn't been poked out at all, so... Not the biggest fan um, right now how things are going. Because if Deku is going to can't be mid like that, they should be really um, going aggro on this ADC. And I guess they're denying him CS by the looks of it, because we have to swan them off. So I think they're, they're not really getting the kill on him, they're just trying to deny him CS. It looks like they are getting pretty aggressive right there. So... Nice, there we go. That's what I mean. Like, deck is gonna rotate a lot. You really have to punish that hundred percent. So that is really great stuff by doing lane. Fortunately, um, I just came back from back. So, wow, my page is over here again. Okay then. Did we definitely shunk him right there, as you guys saw? Hopefully he still stays in because he seems like he's mad already for just one kill, right? But um, there's only so much I can do um, when I'm just getting pressure. It's hard for me to make callouts, right? I'm gonna actually switch pushes in. I missed my E right there. There's a big way pushing in, so she's definitely have gonna be missing a lot of CS.
So when I'm trying to get the um, wave pile, so I'm trying to just sort of um, close this out really fast. Wow, okay, so she's gonna just drop down immediately for that, <laughs> and she's gonna blink out immediately, but that's just weird, like, usually you you want, you don't want to miss three minions but, like that, right? So she let that wave crash in, and actually, I'm gonna see if I can go left real quick. Nice, got the kill right there. And I have to just back off. I'm getting kind of low, so I definitely have to reset. And I'm gonna lose the mid wave though, because of that. But I got the kill, and I'm helping my duo lane now. Cause it's not the snowball. If we can keep that tempo up on the left side, we're gonna be doing very, very good stuff. And the different kind of thing we're doing different with this game is we're going with combustion. But you normally go mid cause almost all all the time. That's what I used to do. But I think doing combustion is actually can make you poking very, very effectively, actually. Because every time I use proc my E, e I get the combustion proc, and that could make, that can really kind of make a poking like very, very potent once we get that online. So I'm definitely, it's, it's a build I saw that it was being won in the PCC tournament, and I thought it was very, very cool that we go combustion first, 100%. Because she's still missing, so she's missing a lot of CS. Uh, it looks like she did back. That's why she was missing all of that. Okay. So river buffs are definitely coming up. So we want to try to like clear this as fast as we can and just go look to grab it, right? So let's pop this. Uh, Rampage is on the river buff, so I'm just trying to get the cannon because I'm greedy like that. So we got the cannon. Yeah, she's probably gonna just go, go yeah straight for it because I can't go straight for it because of the fact that Rampage was kind of hovering my side right there. But she actually went over left. Um, on my way, I have ultimate. She doesn't have he doesn't have ultimate yet, so we can definitely lock him down. Mm. Thank you, that should be a kill. So definitely, Hyman was hovering, he saw that. That's the only reason why I positioned like that, so very well played by my jungler right there, 100%. That's what we need. We need to like just play around our team and, and punish like that. Because my patient fairy didn't have six. That's the perfect opportunity to punish, especially with my ultimate. So I kind of held them long enough for me to kind of help DPS them down. Uh, a little greedy for me to do this, but I might push out this last wave because I think I get combustion if I just stick around a little bit longer. But this Mokic, it's just got one us down. But she doesn't have enough kill threat against us, so um, we 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 might lose this wave. But we stuck around long enough to be able to get combustion on this next pack. I just expect I didn't expect the Mokia to be there right back immediately, so a little bit my mistake right there. But I'm not missing too much um, doing this way. So we have to now I'm poking, it's gonna be quite effective if I do say so myself. I miss that. I need to like actually let my abilities if I want to have very poking. Okay, I'm actually gonna just shove this in just so I can kind of get fire on the wave. Oh, miss that. This should be a kill. There we go. Love to see it, guys. 
Because I just need to land that one last E and I'm just able to kill her right there as you guys saw. So very good stuff. We're definitely playing the more aggressive Fae on the mid lane. Okay, he, he is fighting the Rampage so I'm going to try to help out a bit. Okay, we're backing up. That's fine. Because I think White River buff is still up. I kind of want to grab it. So let's... Do some little bit DPS to that um, wave. Oh, it's actually that one's got you gone, gone. Hmm. Maybe someone. I think maybe the Mogus just grab it. So we definitely need the bat because we can't really stay in lane against the Mogesh. And the next item in this build is actually going to be Waste Flaking. It's going to help us be a bit more elusive and kite, kite people off, but also be able to finish people off with the Connish passive. Trying to tell him, hey, the Mogus missing. And looks like she did rotate over there. But. So let's actually grab this white river buff. Push this wave out and go grab the left river buff. And Deco is trying to. Dueling is trying to come over for some reason. I'm not sure they're trying to set for faint twos or whatnot. Um. I'm not, I need to take a peek. Okay, so they are trying to get something set up. So I'm gonna take. I have to take the long way around. They're definitely trying to get the webinar because my page was just in the left side. They're trying to tell him, "Hey, be careful, be careful." Hmm. Missing mid, missing mid, trying to tell the steel that because okay, it looks like he backed off all the way. Because of that but, but because of that rotation, I can probably knock down the tower and mm, that was the bling by the Mogish. Fortunately, I'm, I'm gonna go down right here because Rampage was in the mid lane. Almost able to kill the Mogesh, but she caught the blink and that's the only reason why she lived right there. But, um, I think Mogesh is easy to finish off. Um, it always depends on my team plays it, right? That's huge. Because I think Rampage doesn't have ultimate because I think he used that when he got the other kill earlier in the game. So that's definitely a thing too. So I'm on my way. Because Mogesh had the back first, so I'll be able to match her in terms of like she won't be there before me. Nice, nice. It would actually um, finish off pretty quickly. And I'm gonna just be looking to push out mid again. Let's go. They're popping off. And they're actually fighting, so I'm gonna actually rotate over on my way. Do I have ultimate, but my E does really hurt hard. And looks like, um, the. <laughs> it looks like they're, they're like just totally chilling. Wow. It's like the Chimera healing and the Nobash healing just like keeps them alive very, very easily. 100%. Okay, they're I do want to try to give Steel some more love. It's just I've been getting ganked so many times mid that it's been hard for me to get the prior to help him. But um, we're definitely really good right now. So there's no reason for him to kind of just throw in the tower. Because Mogus has been wanting there a lot. But because of that, I'm able to like really knock down the tower. So like right now especially, she lose the T1 mid because of that. It's annoying for the Steel, but we're gaining more than what he's losing, right? So we knocked down that tower, very nice stuff. I think this is up still. Oh no, it's not. I'm actually looking to maybe gank left, potentially. See if we can get some kills, but I actually need to go defend mid first, just because how things are positioning. So let me just catch this. That's the mode I blink. Very good stuff. Very 
Maybe a huge triple pull in. At least one kill. Just one kill. I will... There we go. Now we stop the snowball. And it's just a massacre in the mid lane, ladies and gents. Oh my god. That's a team wipe at 15 minutes. We love to see it, ladies and gents. Because they were getting so, so aggro. But like, I'm afraid that has an ultimate and they're 2 ADC. So we're just able to really just work through them. So we did a very good job holding on to our ultimate and being very, very patient with it, if I do say so myself. I'm good at that. Um, we're gonna get the T2 tower as well. And it's gonna be the early FF. Wow. I don't know what to say. Like, um, I kind of want this video to be like a kind of showcase of this different kind of way I like to um, play Fae. But fortunately, the enemy team is just like they gank Yoshuli a whole ton of times mid lane. And then they got punished for that. And they're like, okay, we we'll just give up. No, no coming back from that. So. A little, a little unfortunate the game was on the shoulder side, but um, we can just go over really quick on how we like to actually build Faye in the mid lane now. So you kind of saw the tech where I was doing combustion first because um, the idea scenario is you get combustion and you keep parking it with your E. And so this essentially if you want to play Faye on the lot more aggressive side like maxing E first, then definitely instead of like the mega costume route, you, it's actually better to go combustion first. And then once you do combustion, you kind of go with the waste leggings, which will help you finish off people and get the movement speed that's very good on the Fae. And third item is where you actually then go into mega costume, because mega costume is still very good on Fae. It's just in the early game, you kind of playing her more as a kind of pokey mage with, with maxing E, maxing Q, and maxing on B kind of last. So mega costume starts to put in a lot more work in the mid to late game kind of stuff. So after that, it's kind of up to you what you want to be building out. Um, Tank Scepter, like, this is, like, fully committing to the more poking range because of the Malice passive. Well, when you do damage, you do you do bonus true damage on with the stacks with this. So with Combustion, with this parking on one max E, it will actually really, really hurt Squishy the whole lot. And so last item after that is you can just do something like a crown. If you worry about mana issues, you can probably swap one of these items with Kostika. And the, and the quest that we like to go a lot of the times is Epoch, just so you can buy yourself time and be able to avoid a lot of damage, especially against like the Mogish kind of matchup. But getting like Epoch is very, very solid. But Soul Bear is not bad either, so you get the movement speed, you get that shield to be able to like survive a little bit longer. The life steal is also very, very good right there. Oh yeah, a little shorter video. Um, I do apologize. It's been kind of hard trying to get some videos I want to get out for you guys because of the early FFs. And this is like just a game where like we were kind of having a little bit harder time early just because of we getting camp a lot. But you guys saw from the gameplay, we just kind of play around now. We play a little bit the patient game, farming game, and we have to get solo kills against the enemy lane despite all the pressure we've been getting from the other lane. So. I think, that, I think in terms of like the early game, I think it's a very good showcase of that. And I do want to get that. I think the early game is something I want to kind of show to you guys. Because I think the hardest part of playing Faye is the, the early game, I would say. And I think if you guys see this kind of good showcase of how we can play the early game, despite getting camp a whole lot, I think that would kind of give you guys some good pointers where you can learn from. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments where the heroes, where the builds you want me to showcase. Thank you as always for all the amazing support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.